here's how the closets come. I had them put them here outside of the garage. But they come on pallets. And then you enroll your family to unload it. One little piece at a time. Lots of pieces, Shelly. Oh my gosh. You gonna be excited for this or are you? Yes. Are you sad this is for this? Be awesome. All right, today's the day. We're gonna dial in the master closet. We're gonna shoot a specific video for this, but I did want to keep the moving log going so we can have this as a reference in the future. Uh, but we're doing this section. So this will be done. We'll have some drawers going here. Then we have this section as well. Lots of hanging from Michelle. The safe's gonna come out and go into the guest room because that's gonna be my shoe wall. And then we'll modify this section as well. So that's the before on the closet. The after is gonna be pretty awesome. So the other thing I would planned to do, I'm gonna pull this out, this doesn't work here, it doesn't look good, was to do this, which is uh, same, same material, but this is what it looks like built. Uh, and so here's the, you know, this, the, the, the selling point, is this is one inch thick. So the shelves and the uprights are one inch thick, and then I chose to do the back, enclosed back, which costs quite a bit, but I think it's worth that. And so this thing's got to come out, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. We might put it in Kate's playroom, I'm not sure, or I might just scrap it. But all this stuff here, all of this is going in my closet. <laughs> It's a whole lot of stuff. Okay, step one, I'm waiting for the camera guys to get here. I'm gonna start to organize this stuff and cut the cardboard off, and start working through it. All right, so the good news for, not so much for me, but for all of you that are gonna buy this stuff in the future, is that they're able to generate, you know, I think Cabinet Vision is a software, but they're able to generate the very specific setup of each cabinet or each closet. So what I did is I designed it. So what we're going to do is we're gonna design it for you. You'll give us basically just a napkin drawing. Just draw me what you got, you know, where, roughly where you think they're gonna go. And then what we'll do is we'll design it with you either via Zoom or back and forth through sending you uh, different different um, renders. And then uh, the cabinet people are going to then send us this document, which is 19 pages of exactly what everything is. So the cool thing about this is each one of these sections, so these are all numbered, one through hundreds. Uh, and so this is Michelle's side of the closet. And so the way we'll design it is so that each section is set up differently. Uh, and so it tells us one through, so the left wall, one through seven. And then they also sent me the best practices. So Michael from the cabinet guys, they sent me this best practices, a few tips, and we're gonna work through that. Uh, and so the first thing I'm gonna do is start to unbox all this and then we'll get it in order. While I'm doing that, Michelle's gonna empty out the closet and just sort of bring all the stuff in here and put it on the uh, put it on the bed. And Chase is gonna be in the way the whole time. So here's what we got. I got, this one is two through, or one through seven. So one, three, five, seven are the uprights. So I think I've got those all here. Yeah, one, three, five, seven. And then two, four, six, same thing with the, whatever these are called, the shelves, two, four, six. So that's the whole setup. And then I gotta go out and find the back pieces as well. Before I do that, I'm gonna pull off the wire racking and then we'll decide, I think I need to cut the baseboard too. Making some serious progress here. We got our first section in, plumbed up, mounted, installed. And the greatest news of all, I'm gonna be able to pay for this 100 times over because we're gonna be able to teach you how to do it. So simple, awesome. Shelly's in here organizing numbers, unboxing stuff. Oh wow, it already looks good in here. 
and roll through this. The only ones I need to know is if you want these opened. I'm assuming everything, right? Yeah, those are the drawers. Okay. All right, we got finishing up the shelf section here. It's even better than I thought. The reason why it's better than I thought is because it's easier to install than I thought it would be. Beautiful. And we're rolling, rolling through this. Good news is the laundry basket thing. The laundry bas baskets are awesome. The shoe wall is awesome. Showing the soft clothes technology here. <laughs> yeah, nice. Look at that, huh? Yep. They ride between whites nice. and darks there. Yep. Yep. That. Wow. Yeah. And then this is going to be a drawer bank. That's what we're putting in here. Uh oh. Oh yeah, those were up. What happened? <laughs> we did something. The wall was so badly out. Of, it was basically the wall comes straight here. Uh huh. And then right about here, it oh, starts angling out. Oh no. So, so what did you guys do? I we pulled it all apart and shimmed everything so it was nice and straight. Oh wow. To compensate with the cricket wall. Nice job. I'm sorry, that probably took a long time. That's right. We have a brave space kid now. Uh oh, where is he? He, yeah. I dropped him off at Cases. We're gonna take him to swim, so it saves me like an hour, and then I'm gonna pick him up, take him to basketball. Nice. All right, so that's a wrap for today. Uh, we had uh, that hiccup with uh, with getting this all plumbed, getting it all shimmed because the wall was way off. We didn't find until we got out to here, where the uh, this is a, this is an interior wall. That's a block wall, and the interior wall is sitting in like five eighths of an inch. So, uh, we don't have wood glue either, so Mike's gonna grab some wood glue so we can glue the, the uh, drawers and we will get back to work tomorrow and finish this up. So Michelle's moving her clothes in, it's looking great. Alright, putting the drawers together. You know, Mike, we're probably gonna need, I don't know if we have the right screws to fix the face because they don't come with it. We'll have to get some out, we'll have to figure out what the right length, length, is, length yeah. screw is. And what, you know, we're gonna need a couple of clamps too to clamp in place. Mm, and yeah. Spot drill them. Now I have the template. I have that fancy temp. You'll love this little fancy template system to, to do the hardware. Yeah. So it's like oh, perfect. It's for the, yeah, I know for the for the actual poles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. those are cool. Yep. So I'm putting together. I was putting together the back piece here. This is what makes it look good when you walk in and it looks finished. So I built this this time because I, I gave Mike the wrong dimension on this and cut the baseboard. So I think the way to do is to cut it and then remove the back baseboard, push it into place, and we'll draw a line this time and cut it exact. Uh, I don't know why or how I messed this one up. I just didn't add it correctly. And then we're learning how to do the corner. All right, we're moving along here. So we got these drawers done. I decided to order new drawer pulls because these ones are grandma spec. So I ordered them from build.com and they'll be here in a couple of days. So we're putting the fronts on this puppy. Looking pretty sharp here. Bad news is we gotta cut some drywall because I uh there's a little bit too big, too tight of a speck here. So we're gonna have to gonna have to trim it out a little bit. I went to try to do OG tight spec Mike. Real tight spec. Real tight spec. No gaps. Yeah, no gap spec and it's like those uh backfired on me. Yep. Specs like E92 rod bearings, nice and tight. Yep. So they're doing my gas tank outside. Let's go take a look at what that looks like. So this is what the gas tank looks like. Oh yeah. I do have a five hundred gallon tank, huh? Sir, that's it. Nice. The apocalypse comes, I can at least cook on my stove. Okay. For a little while anyway. <laughs> it's always nice to have that. Yeah. So, I've been talking about this for a while, but we need to move the tank because I want to extend the driveway over here. And so those guys, those guys move the tank, make, make a connection, run new lines. And then notice, so the driveway, I had it staked out here, they had to pull it off to, but the driveway's gonna come and curve in like this. 
It's going out 20 feet that way to the line, all the way out to the corner. So my friend Danny's gonna come here, grade all this. We're bringing in five or six dump truck loads full of dirt, filled dirt. This tree's coming out, so the driveway's gonna go back 18 feet this way. And then over here, cornered off here. So the basketball hoop will move back. Sidewalk, so my garbage cans are gonna sit here. The sidewalk is gonna snake back through there. So, and then we'll make a bed, like rock bed around the AC units. And then I decided we're gonna do a sidewalk here, going out to the trampoline. The trampoline's gonna be housed there. And there'll be rock, a rock bed around the trampolines. And then my recycling bin's gonna go here. So, we're doing this in about five weeks. And, uh, but he's doing the grading this weekend. So, this will all be graded. We're putting our sprinkler systems in and uh, getting that all dialed. All right, people, we're on our last section here in this monster, sh monster uh, closet. I think uh, we're gonna fly through the other rooms, but you know, this one took us two days to do, two days plus, a few hours. And plus, you know, we're shooting video and all that stuff during it, but it's turning out awesome. That's, that's my shoe wall. You know, all this stuff done. It's looking good. So this room is almost back together. A little bit of chaos. We put it all in here. It's gonna be amazing. This is great. Put all my shoes in here. Putting the last rod in. Get all the tools, transfer over to Ryan's room. We're gonna do his next. This is amazing. I did a darn good job on this design. This little cubby right here has got nice ingress, egress mic. Yep. For the for the you don't wear stuff very often area. Yep. Might as well throw them all away. The only thing is that you know my taller longer torso. torso it's kind of drags on the ground but I think that's the way all double hang works I don't love I don't love that all right peeps that's a wrap here so we put all these things in place put my ties back here look how good this looks my ties here ready to grab but out of sight uh, rack here, hang a towel or something if I want to. My belts are back here. Belts go there. And Michelle has a staging rack there. She's got one here. She's got one here. She's got her belts back there. And over there, we're looking good. Got all my shoes in there. Got room for expansion. I could go four wide on there too, so I got got to order some order some stuff tonight. Got my hat styled in there. Shirts. I'm gonna figure out where to put the excess hangers. I've got laundry, so the laundry baskets pull out like so. All my suits and all that crap back there. This is magical. Once we get the drawer hardware, this closet will have to get painted and caulked, and it's a wrap and new lights. One step at a time. Okay, on to Ryan's room. This is um, still a pretty sizable closet. I mean, you got three walls. Wait for his. It's on the over right here. So we gotta take the wire rack out. We're gonna start on this wall here and then it kinda snakes around. So we have two corners in here. So but he doesn't have a lot of stuff. He's gonna have a lot of extra storage. <laughs> it's gonna be yeah. it's gonna be good for him. Alright, wire rack's claws is coming together already. Getting it organized. This is great. So 
and we'll have this all rolled through here shortly. All right, we're mowing through this next day. Today's Friday. When do we start this stuff? Monday? We've been at this all week? No, Tuesday. Tuesday. We start Tuesday mid, mid morning. Yeah. This is Ryan's shoe shelf. We should be done with this closet here in not too distant future. Kind of excited to try doing some of the white ones. Colorful cat. Ryan's hanging out here playing video games while we're oh slaving God. away. All right, people, you, uh, you're you not gonna guess it. Yeah, you could guess it. Remember how the last two houses, we had uh, new uh, septic systems? Well, I think we might be getting a new septic tank today because the excavators or the you know people bringing the dirt drove over our septic tank and broke it. So, yeah, let's go take a look at what we're dealing with here. Shoot, our septic tank's all the way out there? Well, now we know. I don't want to get all dirty. Oh, shoot. I thought our septic system was over here. Yep, septic's right here. Shoot. Well. Getting a new septic tank. Shoot. That stinks. Literally stinks. So, yeah, all right, well, welcome to my world. All right, motoring through here. On a positive note, putting this together, the, the system, the way to go is to rough it all in, We're putting all the backers together, then square it up. That's the way to go. It moves a lot quicker that way too. And then you, then all your shelves fit in nice and easily instead of trying to build one piece at a time. Right. Putting the corner piece together. The corners are pretty cool. I like how they go together with that little little six inch piece, little six inch toe kick. It makes a nice easy transition. You don't have to cut anything. You don't have to miter anything. That's what makes this stuff so cool. It's just so simple. I still think the coolest part is how they cut the drawers out of a single slab. Yeah, and they laminate the edges. Well, Mike and I are finishing Ryan's room. We got the team in here. You put team Mormon in here cleaning up this mess. Like this and all the white things in the garbage. And all the cardboard in the hallway. Chase is in the middle of the action as usual. Rabbi's chopping all this. Kate's supposedly cleaning. Stop. KB's yeah. cleaning up all her junk. We're gonna spread all this out and organize it. Mm -hmm. Cut all the cardboard, yeah, get all the stuff out of here. Gonna help. Wrapping it up here. Putting a little belt hanger in the corner. We did figure out that you can take it apart, flip it around. There's our belt hanger. There's our clothes stager. There's our shoe area. So that's the shoe area. Double hangs in the corner. Hamper, I'm waiting on the 18 inch hamper, so that one's coming here soon. Drawers are in, just waiting on our drawer pulls. They'll be here, uh, our hardware will be here Tuesday. I have all these uppers. And then hang in the corner as well. And then more storage. This one is awesome, this closet's really cool. And there's plenty of room to walk around. That should be a Closet designer. This is pretty spiffy. Yeah, looks, looks really nice. Ryan's room is done. So we're learning to become more efficient. So I've got the team here, Team Mormon. Shelly came through, unboxed all these, got all the cardboard out of here, got all the ties out of here. Then they're hammering in all of the inserts on the drawer or on the shelves and the toe kicks and the Don't mess it up, Ryan. So this is the other color called yellow. H I E high high yellow. High ye yellow. High high yellow. Yeah, this color is really cool. 
Yeah, it looks nice. It's like weird because it's sort of, it could be like right on the border of grandma, but because it's not all the way to grandma. It's like a nice soft gray. Yeah. Like soft gray white. Yeah, it's cool. So I put in all the inserts here. So all these, all these little cam screws. You put them in the toe kick, you put them in the back. You don't put them anywhere else. So I went through all of those. All those are prepped and ready. I'm gonna pull the wart racking out of the closet and we're, we're kind of getting efficient at this and moving through. After these guys hammer these all in, oh, the other thing that we're doing is get, you, know, you get all of them grouped together, the 40s with the 40s and the 42s with the 42s and get them all grouped together so we can stay in order and grab them. All right, we're, we got the system down now. We got the base porch cut. I mean, we're like 12 minutes in. We got the closet empty, half built, baseboards cut, put in place. This is the way to do it. You build it like this, shim it, go. All right, I went over to the garage for a while. Worked on some unboxing. Mike went to pick up the cars. He went to the beach. And so I'm finishing the project. KB, you gonna be pumped for your room to be organized? Yeah. I have to go through all these toys and organize them up. So see what I did here on this one. So this is the 18 inch deep section and then this is 14. So that way I can still access that area. Uh, and so it steps down and then to make it symmetrical, I did this back section 14 inches deep as well. And it mates up really, really well. So this, this place turned out great. And then I'm gonna put the safe. It's gonna be tight, shoot. But theoretically, I'm gonna put the safe right here. We'll see how that goes. Danny's here, the grading has begun. Oh yeah, he's building me a little shelf here for what the driveway's gonna feel like. This is great. I see how that works. It's like they're gonna need a lot more dirt. And he's dragging this over here. Getting this all set up, cleaned up, organized. It's all about moving dirt around. Yeah, that looks awesome. It's gonna make the driveway so much more usable. All right, that's a wrap on this closet other than a few little things. I'm gonna put the drawers on. I'll probably do that tonight. Uh, the drawers are in, put the drawer faces on, and I gotta I'm waiting for the rods. I was missing two rods that I had to repurpose for my closet, and so this closet won't get used as much, but it turned out really nicely. Cool thing is I got all this cleaned up. I'm gonna get a TV for here, some sort of little couch for Kate, kind of finish this room off. Ryan's room is all set up. So his room is dialed in now as well. He says he needs more shoes and more clothes, <laughs> so. His closet looks amazing. Yep, looks great. Now, Kate's closet, we're gonna do on camera and do a very specific get to the point how to. And hers is a more realistic sized closet. So we'll be tearing this one apart on Monday, doing her setup. And so I'll knock that out. On uh, Monday, Mike and I will do that and make our how-to video. And then let's go check out the master. So the good news is that Chase really likes it in here. Right, buddy? He's been in here all day, sleeping. Trying to put some light in here. But this turned out amazing. So I got all my stuff set up. Got all my shirts hung. My Jordans. The little hampers are awesome. Everything about it is just fantastic. So Michelle's got her side all set up. The drawer pulls or the drawer handles will be there on be here on Tuesday. So I'll knock those out on Tuesday or Wednesday, and I've got a completed closet. Next thing I'm gonna do is put some DMF lights in here, and we're good to go. But that's a wrap on uh, I guess this video. Wrap on this project. I'll uh, keep you up to date. Show you Crit Kate's and all the other stuff we get into, like how the grass turns out in our next video. So. I hope you've had fun on this journey. This house isn't done yet, but it's rounding out. It's coming together. And then we're going to be on to the next project, which would be the building of the compound down the street. So 
yeah, we'll see you on the next video.